Here we are again, in North Wales, at the start of the third running of the legendary Dragon's Bat Race. 130 male and female competitors have gathered in Conway Castle. The objective, to run the mountainous spine of Wales, flaying themselves in the name of fun. It's not going to be pretty, except for the scenery. Five days, 300 kilometres, 16,000 metres of ascent. The first day crosses northern Snowdonia, taking in the Canidae, the Glidders, and then, bad news for tired legs, the full Snowdon horseshoe to finish. With us to give insight into the runner's pain is Helene Whitaker, previous winner of the event in 1992. Job to do. Mm -hmm. Better race plan this time. Yeah, hopefully going the right direction this time. <laughs> and what else are you going to do that's different? Um, drink more. I've got a lot more fluid, doubled up the fluid from, from day one last time and I'm going to go steadier and I'm going to run my own race, I'm not racing people. A great journey to see the Wales mountains and uh, for me it's this kind of running is an adventure. Where have you come from? Sweden. So. so you can navigate? Yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be pretty tough, probably the hardest race I've ever done, but yeah, I'm excited. Give it a go. But you're only doing day one. Looking forward to it? Yeah, of course. I'm not racing, so I'm just going to have a great day out on the field. So. Are you going to string the field out at the front? No. Are you going to run with them? No, well, no, I'm running with the middle people. <laughs> you're not going to show them the way? No. So you're going to be racing or running? Um, I'll just try to not, not, not to go over too fast, because um, it's always good to get to know the terrain, how the maps are drawn and so on. I have some experience with these maps, but definitely not, not as much as uh, local racers. So I'll try to not to do any stupid mistakes in, in the beginning and see how it goes. Die in. Drizzle is forecast to ease, becoming warmer and drier in the afternoon, favouring the scramble over Grib Gog. However, with the first stop the Kenedai, this could give an early boost for the navigators in the race if the hill fog is slow to clear. <laughs> <laughs> 